Imagine an iPhone that's small enough to fit in your pocket, but unfolds into a tablet when you need it. For years, Apple fans and tech enthusiasts have been asking, when will Apple finally make a foldable iPhone? The demand is real. When Samsung released the Galaxy Z Fold 7 in July, it became clear that foldables are no longer just a novelty. The era of folding smartphones is here. Even as an Apple enthusiast, I couldn't help but be excited. Foldables are opening up a whole new world of possibilities. Uh, the first generation of folding phones hit the market in 2018 with the Royal FlexPi, followed by the Samsung Galaxy Fold in 2019. Google followed with the Pixel Fold, Motorola revived the Razer, and Chinese brands like Huawei and Xiaomi pushed thinner, lighter designs. Even Nokia re-entered the flip phone space, adding modern features. Now, Apple is reportedly planning to join the foldable race in 2026. This isn't a new idea, but it seems closer than ever to becoming reality. Reports suggest a debut in fall 2026, potentially as a book-style iPhone with a 7.8-inch inner display and a reinforced hinge designed for durability and usability. Foldables are still a niche market. Most people have little reason to replace their phones unless the upgrade offers something truly different. And that's where foldables could make the difference. How are we going to take this to a mobile device? Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. That moment in 2007 was a total game changer. The iPhone wasn't just a phone, it was a full touchscreen, no buttons, no keyboard, nothing holding you back. And honestly, it took years for anyone else to catch up. Google came in with Android a couple of years later, but it wasn't until three or four years after the iPhone dropped that other devices even started playing in the same league. Apple just set the bar and everyone else had to scramble to get there. Fast forward to 2019, when the first Galaxy Fold launched, durability was a challenge. Creases and hinges allowed dust and debris under the screen. Battery life, thickness, and camera compromises limited adoption. But today, with the Galaxy Z Fold 7, those barriers are fading. The device is slim, unfolds into a large format display, and offers battery life comparable to flagship phones. In the US, there are eight to 10 foldable models available from Samsung, Motorola, Google, and OnePlus, but they still account for less than 2% of global smartphone shipments. Prices, typically between $1,500 and $2,000, remain high, keeping adoption niche. For foldables to go mainstream, prices need to drop and technology must continue improving. Apple's potential foldable could change that by focusing on durability, usability, and a seamless user experience, Apple might transform foldables from a luxury niche to a mainstream product. Samsung and Huawei have led the market so far, but Apple entering could quickly capture significant share. Foldables offer unique advantages. Large screens allow better multitasking, immersive content creation, and productivity tools. Imagine a phone that unfolds into a mini tablet, one device that does it all. No need to carry both a tablet and a phone. That's the promise. Globally, adoption is highest in markets like China and South Korea. In the US, it's still emerging. Roughly 20 million foldables sell annually in a billion plus smartphone market. The key challenge remains the price premium. Early foldables required compromises, but the new generation reduces trade-offs. Samsung's Flip 7 now launches under $1,000, and prices are expected to continue falling as technology matures. If Apple can make foldables durable, practical, and accessible, it could reshape the smartphone industry. One hybrid device that's both phone and tablet could change how we work, watch, and interact with our devices. Foldables have arrived, and with Apple reportedly entering the race, the smartphone world might never be the same.